Uh, this is MyCom's corporate headquarters in uh, Tokyo, Japan. Uh, basically, the building's relatively new. Uh, one of the things that MyCom prides itself on is our global initiatives for energy savings. Uh, the building itself uh, has a number of features such as slurry ice, which is similar to an ice builder that allows load shifting for the air conditioning, uh, full, full length windows for natural light. It also takes advantage of our CO2 heat pump, which produces both heat for water and also supplies air conditioning at the same time and a number of other energy incentives. That is uh, our main factory in uh, Moria, Japan, just outside of Tokyo. It's basically a, a suburb. And uh, MICOM in many places in the world is also a contractor uh, as well as a manufacturer. Here in Canada, we work through contractors such as Simcoe. There's uh, some of the history on MICOM. Uh, MICOM itself uh, basically got into the industrial refrigeration market in Japan in 1924. So last year we had celebrated 90 years, uh, our 90th anniversary. Some of the advantages, MICOM is also uh, a screw compressor manufacturer as well as a reciprocating compressor manufacturer. We're gonna concentrate mainly on the, the new M series of reciprocating compressor. And you can see some of the other things that we're into. Uh, our Newton 3000 is also a product that's handled by Simcoe. It's a, it's a CO2 hybrid system that, uh, that basically is, uh, as a lot of the other people have been saying already, uh, CO2, a lot of places are looking at that in the future. Uh, we're fortunate here in Canada. Right now, our energy costs aren't that great compared to elsewhere in the world. So, so there's not as much of a demand as of yet. Again, just some of the, uh, some of the industries that we're in, as well as the industrial refrigeration. But uh, basically, in Canada, we're best known for, for the industrial refrigeration. But we also do food, food robotics, cryogenics, gas compression. There's some of the MICOM offices around the world. Uh, Mexico is our main manufacturing facility for the reciprocating compressors. Uh, where offices throughout the US, Canada, Europe, South America, Australia, all around the world. Uh, as I say, uh, MICOM Canada, we're actually going to be celebrating uh, our 40th anniversary this year in Canada, and uh, we've been in the States since 1967 and globally, again, since uh, 90 years. Natural is basically what MICOM's uh, place in the market is. Uh, we concentrate on the natural refrigerants, these being ammonia, of course, uh, CO2, halocarbons, water, and air. And you can see by the temperature ranges that MICOM covers anywhere from minus 50 up to 200 degrees with our echo cute and Unimo uh, CO2 heat pumps. Uh, you probably already saw this slide earlier on uh, from CanMet. Basically it shows in an arena, uh, one of your major costs is going to be your refrigeration equipment and that basically accounts for 44% of all the costs of the power consumption that you're going to use in your arena. Of that refrigeration, 44%, uh, the more, majority of that power consumption is gonna come from running your compressors. Now, depending upon what sort of year we had, how much your compressors are cycling, will obviously have an effect on that. Uh, but basically, your compressors are your prime movers, so they're gonna have your biggest power consumption in the refrigeration system. Uh, the MICOM M series. A lot of you uh, are familiar with our W compressors, the A's, the B's, the WA's, the WB's. The WA's and WB's were the first uh, improvement upon the MICOM compressors. Uh, that was basically probably done in about the mid 90's. Uh, and what MICOM wanted to do was develop a more energy efficient compressor for the world marketplace and that is our M compressor. Uh, there's a six cylinder M compressor. 
basically we'll, we'll go to the next one, which is the two cylinder, which is most of the arenas in Ontario. Uh, Ontario typically does things a bit different in Eastern Canada than, than what they do out West. Out West, a lot of the arenas have a tendency to put all their eggs in one basket. So they might have a six cylinder WB machine, uh, which would equate to a four cylinder M or a six cylinder M machine. Uh, basically here in Ontario, we've always had the approach where we've gone with smaller compressors and multiples of smaller compressors. Part of that reasoning is of course the Operators Act that only, that limits our horsepower. Uh, so, so the 2M was more or less developed as a replacement uh, for the, for the 4WA, uh, the 6WA and uh, it'll do an 8WA up to about uh, uh, 1100 RPM. Okay, uh, the development, basically the reasons for it were we wanted a higher performance increased capacity compressor with a better uh, COP, uh, covering a wider capacity range because again, this compressor is not only developed for the skating industry but also production facilities and in Europe uh, a lot of it is used for for comfort cooling, uh, basically apartment blocks and things like that and get the heat recovery from the compressor as well. Uh, it's got a wider operating range than our standard WA and WB products. Uh, higher performance, reduced cost and it is a lower noise level uh, from the compressor because one of the things in going to the higher pressures is of course a heavier casing. Here's some of the innovations that were developed in the compressor. Uh, basically, it's got now a bellows type shaft seal, which is similar to the shaft seal on a screw compressor, rather, rather than just the, rather than, uh, just the ring type seal. Uh, it now has an external oil filter, a cartridge type filter, which is replaceable as compared to the Kuno filter, which most of you, if you have micoms, are familiar with. Uh, the pistons have been redesigned. The piston rings have been redesigned. The valve plates have been redesigned. Uh, the discharge manifolds are now away from the compressor to help uh, disperse the heat away from the compressor, the heat of compression to keep the compressors running cooling, cooler and more efficiently. Uh, here again is just uh, some, of the, some of the ranges. As I say, MICOM is also a, a screw compressor manufacturer. So, so basically the top is the, is the 2M range. Basically you can see it covers off the 4A, the 6A, and the 8A. The, the 4M basically covers off the 4WB and the 6WBs. And then the 6M will take us right up to a, to a 12 cylinder WB machine. And the 8M will cover a 12 cylinder and the 16 cylinder. Uh, you're not going to see those in too many rink facilities. Again, this is just uh, a chart showing the increased uh, operating range uh, that's available with the M compressor because of the higher, the higher working pressures that are available. Uh, you'll notice uh, we show the 1500 RPM. Again, that's based for other parts of the world where basically 50 hertz running direct drive is no longer 1800 RPM, it's 1500 RPM. So typically in Canada, most of us are running around the 1200 RPM range. Again, just some of the increased limits with the compressors. Uh, typically in, in uh, again, in, in a rink application, uh, the rink application is fairly light duty for uh, an industrial compressor. Just the, the new oil circuit through the compressor, again, uh, the main thing being the, the new cartridge type oil filter. Uh, basically, other than that, not too much has changed from the WAs or the WBs. Okay, uh, again, how was the high COP achieved? Through improvement in the volumetric efficiency, the opti optimization of the mechanical valve, reduction of mechanical resistance, and reduction of heat from the discharge inside the compressor. Uh, again, just some flow analysis that was done by the research team. Uh, at any one time, MICOM may have as many 
as 70 research engineers working out of their facilities in Moroya on various projects. Uh, again, just measurements of the difference in the, in the valve plates. Uh, this is something that most of you might be familiar with if you've ever been inside our MICOM compressors. And one of the reasons how they really cut down the reduce the friction, uh, basically the piston now is designed more along the lines of an automotive piston compared to the pistons in like the A's or the B compressors where you had the big dished head. Uh, basically you had your three rings, your two compression and oil, and then you also had an oil ring down below the wrist pin. In the, in the new design of the piston, to reduce the, the mechanical friction. There's only one oil uh, ring and two compression rings, but that new oil ring also has an expander spring, spring in behind the ring to give it better contact with the cylinder wall so you don't have to worry about the oil usage. Some of the improvements that were done on the pistons and on the, basically to improve that efficiency. And again, with the, with the valve design, basically, again, uh, rather than the discharge manifold being incorporated into the compressor block where that heat is going straight into the compressor and costing you efficiency, the, now it's moved outside the compressor to try to disperse that heat away from the compressor as quickly as possible. Okay, the solution. Uh, Basically, this is a comparison between uh, the, the new MICOM compressor along the top with, uh, with the old MICOM WB compressors. So, so you can see the increased efficiency between the two compressors. Uh, we'll get a bit more into that later on. And then this is also, uh, as I say, we are a screw compressor manufacturer, so we're not here to shoot down screws, but Basically, in an arena application, based on your part load performance, uh, basically uh, a reciprocating compressor and with the capacities you're talking about, uh, if you're unloading screws, they're very inefficient in comparison to a reciprocating compressor. Uh, with a reciprocating compressor, your, your sine wave is basically more linear than what a screw compressor is. Basically, here's a, a comparison again between uh, the, the existing models and uh, the new M compressors. Depending upon your operating conditions, you could see up to a 20% difference in power consumption with the, with the M compressor, of course, being more efficient. The application, uh, these are just some of the packages uh, that I'm sure you're all familiar with. Okay, here's a study that we had done for Simcoe London uh, based on replacing uh, an 8W, uh, sorry, a 6WA compressor. Uh, I realize it's probably not gonna be that clear. Uh, basically, this was comparing to a 2M. Uh, some of the advantages, uh, the 6WA was running at 1200 RPM. Uh, basically, it was producing 32.6 tons with 45.6 brake horsepower draw. Uh, of course, in a belt drive world, you're not gonna be able to match up conditions exactly. With a 2WA, uh, the compressor speed has slowed down to 1,016 RPM. We're still getting, we're still getting a 3.7% increase in capacity up to 33.8 tons. Uh, with 4.3% less brake horsepower, our horsepower has dropped to 43.7. Uh, if you increase the speed of the 2M up to 1,065 RPM, basically you're getting 8.6% more capacity out of the compressor with only uh, approximately 1% increase in brake horsepower. What that means is you're going to have significantly less runtime on your compressors, which will save you money in maintenance. Uh, as you can see, compared with the compressor running at the 1,016 RPM, uh, basically we're showing uh, a savings depending on your, what we did was we took the run hours of a 8WA at various stages of operation. Uh, looking at your, your operating costs, uh, basically based on a 2,000 hour a year operation, 
uh, prorating the, the hours because of the increased in capacity. Uh, you're looking at uh, basically an operating cost of about $645 on the two, uh, on the 2M compressor. Uh, here are some other rink studies. So this is, this is hard life facts. Uh, studies that were done basically in arenas. Um, mo the majority of them were in Western Canada. Our head office is out of Western Canada uh, in Richmond, British Columbia. Uh, basically, this one was sponsored by uh, Natural Resources Canada. And basically, the, 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 in comparison to, as I say, they do things a bit different out west. The arena was run with 150 horsepower uh, 6WB compressor, and they replaced it with a, with a 4M compressor, and basically they, they saw savings of about 18%. Uh, again, this was the, the city of Trail. Uh, basically, they, they were projecting savings in the city of Trail of 16.2%. And uh, we all know who Canlands Ice Sports are. Uh, I guess they're one of the major rink players in Canada, uh, privately owned. So they're, uh, they're a for-profit company. And basically what they've started to do is they've also started to replace a bunch of their 6WB compressors with, uh, with the M compressors. And uh, I'll just jump ahead a slide here, and you can see the savings. These, these power savings are based on not just refrigeration costs, but total facility power savings. So if we equate that back to the 44% the that we're talking about with refrigeration, you can see that they're probably saving over 5% in their operating costs, and that's just with compressor change. Implementation. Uh, basically, I'm sure uh, your Simcoe sales reps are doing great jobs of getting the word about my come out to you, hopefully. Uh, basically, the M compressors uh, are available, as I say, two, four, six, and eight cylinders. Uh, basically, all this information is also available on our website, uh, www.mayakawa.ca. Uh, if you want to see me later on, I'll give you a card as well. Uh, and uh, in order to help with the, other than just the power savings, uh, MyCom does have their exchange program that's available through your refrigeration contractor, which is Simcoe. And basically what it does is it, it allows you, basically if you've got off-make compressors, be it Vilter, Sabro, some old Carpacos, I don't know how many of those are still out in the market, uh, basically, MyCom, through your contractor, will offer special pricing on, on a new compressor so you can gain that new efficiency. Basically, it's available, it's also available on our WAs and WB compressors, as well as the M compressors. The incentives are a bit higher on the M in order to try to get the new compressor out to market. And basically, uh, Again, some explanation with regards to uh, the exchange program and how it works. Uh, what we've noticed is, is a lot of people, when you get to that 10-year-old ten, ten compressor range uh, and you're now talking about a major overhaul, uh, for slightly more than what the major overhaul would cost you, you can replace your old compressor and get a new compressor in there. The reason you come to these things is because anytime you put a group of ice makers together, it's a good day. It's about trading information. Everybody's got ideas. I come here to steal all the really good ones.